We've gotten some new information pertaining to the Miss Starlancer attack. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed, leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. I'd like to give a big shout out to Eli Fighter for being the newest channel member. Thank you, Eli Fighter, for supporting this channel. So now let's get into this video. All right, guys. So we've gotten our hands on the Q&A for the Miss star lancer attack and uh we're just gonna go straight into it all right so the very first question that was asked was can you please explain in more detail what the quad launcher and remote operated missile turrets are and they respond with the four bespoke size three quad launchers are pilot controlled missiles which are found on each of the current variants of the star lancer attack max and build the remote operated missile turrets are currently exclusive to the Starlancer attack. These are controlled by the co-pilot and are located either side of their rear ramp. The angle of the images are on the promo page, make it difficult to see. However, in game, they have good coverage. Really, really interesting. Okay. Oh, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show a screenshot of it. And um, I didn't even know this, um, but I'm going to show a screenshot this way. You guys have a good view of uh, what they're talking about here. All right. So long. let's uh, continue into the next question. The next question was, can you please describe the firing arc of each turret? And they respond with the top two turrets have a 480 degree arc with the rare one raising up when in use to give better angles however both these leave the underside a little more vulnerable the starland's attack has additional coverage with the rare remote missile uh, turret covering the rear and lowering section from behind with the side turret giving lower underside covering arcs yeah so the attack the attack is is definitely the one you want to use for combat and um, it makes sense that uh they're giving it all these advantages uh, when it comes to combat itself. It, I have a feeling the attack is going to be a solid, a solid gunship. It, it, it looks very dangerous. And I think once they implement armor into the game, I think all the missed variants are going to be very tanky and um, especially the attack. I think the attack is going to be a solid gunship for sure. All right. So next one is do any of the attack turrets have an overlapping firing arc and they respond with the top two turrets have some overlapping in their firing arc the tax side turrets won't overlap due to their placement on opposite sides of the hull the next question is what does a two times size four twin linked weapon actually mean is that a four times size four weapon or bespoke weapon uh, equivalent to a two times size four weapons and they respond with this refers to hard points that have multiple weapon mounted to them in this instance the pilot controls two hard points each with two size four weapons similar example can be seen in the freelancer and the star fairer so the next question is what the star lancer computer capacity allow for the two dorsal remote turrets to be bladed and they responded with yes the current intention is to allow the starlands attack computer to have the capacity for ai blades really interesting though this is subject to development of the ai blade system and implementation in game really interesting uh, response here hmm okay the next question is what armor does the attack have compared to other vessels of its size and what kind of measures does it have and they respond with the star lancer attack is designed to have a far more combat focused role than the build or the max so we'll have better armor to reflect that subject to game balancing currently there are no plans to change its countermeasures beyond that of other variants interesting next one is how will the marines leave the starlands attack are their crew control mounted gatling guns protecting their drop and they respond with the side doors open to give the marines the opportunity to drop from the side similar to the valkyrie with door guns laying down covering fire the next question is is the left container an ammunition feeder if so, could it be recharged from the inside of the ship? And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share the image 
of this as well on screen and they respond with these are purely visual storytelling in the future on larger ships you'll have the ability to rearm ballistics from within the ship via the equivalent of a mini freight elevator really interesting i look forward to that we definitely need this kind of stuff for the cap ships for sure all right so the next question is does it actually come with the fury or just a fury size hanger for snub fighters also can any other snub fit in this hanger what are the dimensions of the snub hanger and they respond with the hanger is specifically designed to fit the fury rather than a set metric similar to the hanger on the anvil carrick being designed for cax pisces the standard starlance attack does not come as a standard with any fury variant the next question is does the tack come with a specific hanger for ground vehicles with the rear access ramp work as a vehicle hanger or can we store additional vehicles in the cargo area and they respond with the starlance attack features the same rear access ramp storage space as the starlance of build and max on all variants the ramp is large enough to accommodate a tumbrel storm nice yes we, we tested this and it can definitely fit a storm for sure which is really cool so the next question is does the tax cargo space also come with a ground lift like with the max variant and they respond with the starlands attack lower middle section is significantly different to the max as the cargo hold has been replaced with additional turrets uh, drop seats uh, medical facilities the only designated cargo storage on the tack is the rear hold however when the cargo grids are full there is still space uh, for an ursa rover between them really nice that's what makes the star lancer such a great ship like they really thought this one through i really like the design and the capability of the star lancer for sure all right, so the next question is can we further modify the tack to support bounty hunting or pirate gameplay for example we will be able to replace the turret uh, weapon with the tractor beam or does the ship have the ability to carry prisoner bots and the respond with the starlance attack is not a modular ship so alterations cannot be made to support other gameplay loops in addition the turrets are weapon mounted rather than utility mounts so they can only be equipped with weapons interesting next question is compared to ships of the similar size the starlands attack seems to be very slow can you tell us why you went for that low max speed and they respond with the attack is slower compared to the dedicated combat ships of the same size due to the starlancer platform initially being designed for cargo hauling however the robust and sturdy frame is better at absorbing incoming fire than similar size ships. Which kind of makes sense. I, I kind of understand why they did that. So next question is, the stats provide no concrete size for the jump drives. Fuel tank, can you give us a specific size for the deep space ship? And they respond with the Starlance attack currently has 25% increase in quantum fuel capacity over the base variant bringing it up to 1.5 SCU. This is already a tier higher than other ships in terms of capacity. Interesting. So 1.5 SCU, so I'm assuming 1.5 million uh, fuel. I'm interested to see what that is. All right, so the next question is, how many entry exit points are there? Does the TAC have dorsal access such as a ladder exit to the outside on top of the ship or ladder on the walls of the fury hangar we need the means to climb up there uh, to do repairs on the ship if we are planet side and they respond with the starlancer tack comes with several different uh entrances and exits the rear ramp uh front lift side jump doors uh docking collars and the fury uh hangar door all right so the next question is is there a docking collar and they respond with yes each starlancer variant uh, features a small docking collar towards the front just outside the armory really really interesting so 
Um, we just gotten some more information on the Starlance attack. Hopefully, we see the attack very soon. I'm really keen to seeing this thing in the battlefield and seeing how it performs. You guys let me know your thoughts on what we just covered. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.